Happy Super Science Saturday, Mark everyone. Mark just hit his elbow off the table and I he's really not happy about it. <laughs> just hit my elbow. I was like, ready? Ready, Ali? Let's go. Let's go. Bam! Bam! So right. I, it's such a bad, it's an awful feeling when yeah. you hit your funny bone. Yeah, not so funny. No, no not, not so, so funny, funny at all. Good morning, everybody. How yes. are we doing this morning? It's too, uh, I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you're cold. Just like, I'm yeah. going to come out clean. I was like, I'm going to ask how everyone was. And I was going to be like, oh, this cold day. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to go, I'm cold. Yeah. Big <laughs> shout out to that. everyone joining us. Good morning, Aoife. Good morning, Maria. <laughs> Good morning, Sophia. Uh, Eagle Eye, Evie Bike Dude. Good morning to all of you. Everyone's Maria's awake cold too. and ready to go. Yeah. Good morning, Ursula. How are Good you? Good morning, Ursula. And Ali, I think we're all very interested to know how you're doing. Because we know that last week we joined you in a... Uh, a, f a funny capacity, but a different uh, so, uh, non-live science capacity. Thursday sort of thing. Yes, yeah, but we, yeah. were, we were all concerned to see how your uh, to see how <laughs> to your see how laser eye doing. surgery went. And I'm sure there's um, some very concerned viewers. Well, I feel great. I feel fantastic. Um, I had my laser eye surgery last Friday, and I had a type of laser eye surgery called P or K, which has a six-day recovery period. Mm -hmm. So, uh, surgery was on Friday. Uh, Sunday was rough, didn't feel great on Sunday, but since Monday, I felt like 100%. My eyes have been like wide open, ready to go. Uh, I'm taking eye drops. They're recommended eight to 10 times a day if my surgeon's watching, um, but I can't see. Yeah. I can't see great. Yeah. Didn't ask for the story of your life, Ali. It's just what a uh, simple and fine would have suffice, I'm fine, but... I can't see great. So if you see me squinting at the comments here, you'll know why. It's going to take like a couple of weeks for my vision to like settle out. And be Very good. cool. Unbelievable procedure. Insane. And how quick it was as well. Like the mm. laser went on my left eye for five seconds and my right eye for six seconds. And that we was We were it. going to try and uh, build our own laser eye and to... Uh, experiment on Ali this morning but we decided it probably was not the best not, option. not great not great for, for a live family show first thing no, on Saturday morning no. it might have been a bit squeamish for he some was people. banged in with a joke already <laughs> hitting your funny bone isn't humorous <laughs> bone in the arm humorous <laughs> little skeleton joke very good funny morning. good morning Anthony how are you oh. good morning Agna good morning everyone's really Everyone. on it this morning yeah <laughs> If you buy two, I've had seven PRKs. It can be longer than six days. Six days for recovery, but it can be two months before it comes good. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Uh, I well, might way to have... keep positive there. I know, but I did get told. I went for my follow-up appointment on Thursday and I got told, yeah, like six to eight weeks okay, for, for good vision. It. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you asked. I know. I know. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I'm very excited for Super Science Saturday. I missed it last week. It did was you, weird did being... Did you try cooking toast yet with your eyes? It's just, it's not working, but I think six to eight weeks. Oh, okay, okay, that, comes, that comes later. Gotcha, <laughs> yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, the guy's okay. like training in a little bit because if I was zapping lasers right from the start, left, right, and center, it could be really dangerous. It, you, true, you kind of, yeah, with great power becomes great, great responsibility, yeah, so. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, definitely something that probably, because like, it's not like uh, Spider Man where he got bitten instantly uh, yeah. kind of over the next couple of hours. I think that'd be really. Like shooting webs. I think it'd be really difficult if like you had like a full, the full blown power straight away. Every time I you think... sneeze, just something exploded yeah it, i'd cause a lot of damage places yeah. we've got a lot of technical equipment here that i would probably come under fire yes, so it's yes. probably better I, if i, I, if I, I don't have remove my you from the premises yeah i think it's better if i don't have my laser eyes right now no definitely but not we'll see we'll see as the weeks go on but we were very excited to see some of your guys uh, uh creations yes um, and i hope you enjoyed our uh movie made from sounds of things that we just found around the place yes it was pretty the fun something. to do wasn't it it was the something. it was really really good yeah. fun yeah and like that we were surprised last week as like some sounds just worked worked really so well so unbelievably so well. and then we put in the few ones where like we, yeah, we they, yeah, they were just ludicrous yeah, so they didn't yeah, really fit in yeah. some things like if you were to rate that in the cinema what would what would you give it like a rating like not like i mean like a pg rating like a like a <laughs> Like it was pretty scary at times, like. It was. Yeah, it, it was, was sometimes spooky. like, what, what, was what is happening? Where has, yeah. <laughs> Where has Mark Where gone? Yeah. Where has Mark gone? He's just sitting here yeah. swatting, swatting flies. Swatting bees. Pouring, swatting bees. Pouring, pouring, no, we don't swap bees. No, we don't. No. No. No, bees are important. Bees are very important. So we don't swap flies either. Mm, I, we, sh we slowly just... <sighs> Please, Mr. Fly bother someone else but yes yeah, some of some of some of you guys uh rose to the challenge yes and we would like to uh show one of those videos today some excellent work brought in by uh one of our number one fans eagle eye who did a fantastic job so we want to go do a little bit of a throwback yes to last week and uh all about sound yeah and we want to start off by showing some fantastic work 
um, a video made at home. Now, Eagle Eye made two different versions. Yes. Two he, different versions. He made a version. He was like, not satisfied with this one. Yeah. I'm doing another one. <laughs> Both very impressive. So, Eagle Eye, great job. And we would like to show your creation to everyone. Here's Eagle Eye version numero one. <laughs> I think I think our musical talents have been upstaged a yeah. little bit. Well, th there's possibly uh, the theme tune. Yeah, that can be the I intro like there. the logo at the start. Very very cool. Very Big talented. Fan of that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. well done, Eagle Eye. Yeah. Like great we on the piano too. You did a great job. Yeah. So, uh, the song applause. is stuck in everyone's minds for <laughs> weeks now. So often it just comes into my head and it's like, oh, there it is again. Yeah. Now Eagle Eye <laughs> took it to the next level and created also a movie with a plot <laughs> and <laughs> added in his <laughs> sounds with you. <laughs> it's in my head now, I can't help I it. Like You can't get out. So we're gonna see, uh, what do we do? Part du. Part du. Eagle Eye Part du. I did, I did find that pretty funny. I love that. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what that a plot twist. Well, again, Eagle Eye, well done. Eagle Eye, well done. Fantastic. Really rose the challenge. Yeah, so, so if uh, you've been inspired by our work or by the work of, of Eagle Eye 18 and you want to make your own movie, do it. Yeah, do it. <laughs> do it. That was really cool. And it was all because we explored the science of sound, yeah. which we'd like to stay on that topic today because there's so many cool things. And we were inspired by Eagle Eye and yeah. his work as well. So when we talked about sound, we said it's all about vibrations. Those vibrations traveling through something, the table, the air, and arriving at our ears, and us hearing them as noises. Yes. And all sounds uh, travel as a wave, and waves have certain characteristics associated with them. They have a wavelength, and a frequency. Mm -hmm. So like we discussed last week, it's the frequency that we perceive as a pitch, a noise, and things would have high frequency, are high pitched things that have low frequency have low pitch like these tuning forks yep. ali i've got a a c I've a musical a, note c i have a musical note d okay cool now on these uh there's written the frequency mine's 512 that means it's 512 hertz that's the unit of frequency that means that's 512 waves passing a point in the air every second mine's at 288 okay so from what we've learned i have a higher frequency and i have a lower frequency so i should have a higher pitch noise okay than you so we'll test it out yeah okay, okay. let's see if we can okay okay very okay. nice and your one yeah yeah definitely yeah definitely a very obvious difference between it's them very cool when you turn them can you see me? Wait. Oh, look at that. Because yeah. the, the tines are vibrating that way really, really fast at that known frequency. So when I'm turning it, I'm sending all the waves in different directions. So you oh, can find it. Cool. It's kind of like a meow. You have to move it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was pretty cool. 
Oh, Very that's nice. cool. That's right, cool. Let's try it again. <laughs> that's pretty cool, isn't it? I like that. Very that's cool. really cool. So they're really sweet. So again, all about vibration. So that means when you understand that, you can do really cool things like one of our favorite mates from a different episode, yeah. the Thunder Cup. So we're going to vibrate this string. The vibrations will travel along through it. Vibrate this kind of skin here, like a membrane. Yeah. And that's going to resonate in the, the drum here. And... Well, this isn't like a home. Yeah, true, true. We can make this a home like we did. Very good thunder very sound. Sweet. Very realistic. Very isn't it? realistic. Yeah. yeah, and we need some lightning now. So, <laughs> we've got some of that Where is the lightning? So we've got a really cool thing that you can again make at home. We yes. could use this in the movie, but it's very, very fun. Really yeah. simple too. Yep. So what you're gonna need for this one is you're gonna need a balloon. I got one. And you're gonna need a, a hex nut. Yes. No, okay, so you got these in the hardware store. You probably got some of them lying around at home. They come in all sorts of different shapes and, well, not shapes. <laughs> no, they, they literally come they're all, in hexagonals. Famously, they're all hexagons, yeah. Um, but they come in all different sizes. So what they're not people, Ali. <laughs> what you're going to do is uh, pop the nut inside your balloon. Like that. Okay. Okay, and then blow up your balloon. Now, when you're taking a deep breath in, don't, <laughs> don't inhale, inhale the balloon. Be very careful. There's a hex nut in the yeah. balloon, people. Be careful. Choking hazard. <sighs> oh! Oh, mine's gone already. It is, yeah. Yeah. Now, the hex nut is inside the balloon, and we're going to wiggle it. We want to cause some vibrations, don't we? I'm really bad at time balloons. <laughs> I can see that. I got it. You, you blew yours up loud. Oh, was I not supposed to? No, no, it's, it's, okay. it's just blow okay. up. Okay, now we're going to spin it around and you might hear the hex nut kind of bouncing around that first, but then due to centripetal force, it'll start spinning around the walls of the balloon. And let's, uh, let's, let's hear what happens. Okay. Sound. No. It's kind of like it's like it's screaming. Yeah, it's like it's just whirring. Like Joan, you, know you have to, to someone comes up to your car window and you have to like put the window up real quick and it's like. It's cool and it's slowing down. It is very cool. So definitely try that at home. Yeah, really simple. The hex nut is just vibrating against the walls inside the balloon, and as we know, vibrations cause sound. <laughs> Nice. Oh, <laughs> nice. So last week we found out that sound travels through things, things yes. called mediums. That's just what it travels through. Sound travels through the air mm -hmm. as well to us, um, but it can also travel through things like wood, yeah. and different solids, types of liquids, materials. gases, all of them. Yeah, all of them. It can tra and it'll travel through different mediums in different ways. Yes, because it can change the speed of how fast the sound travels. So it travels you differently through different mediums. So we had a really cool demonstration of this that we want to share with you. Yes. You will need some wine glasses. Got him. Got him. Got Gotta make some a bit of music again. Are we, yeah? Bit of music. We're doing the matter on this thing. Oh, okay, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. And a bottle. A glass bottle. Yeah. I'm glad you didn't tell them. What? Oh, so <laughs> I'm gonna tell them now. Yeah, that didn't really work at all. I forgot, yeah. Um, we had two of these bottles. And a raccoon just came in and ran out of nowhere, like big ears on it, and it said to Ali, Ali, uh, get, you, you look silly. And uh, Ali dropped the, the, the bottle and it smashed. That happened, true story, based on true events. We were doing some different size experiments yesterday. And somebody dropped our second glass bottle. I smashed it. Yeah. I yeah. Did. You're having a bad track record of smashing things bad. these days. Good smashing's good. Who who do you think smashing bad? <laughs> but it's funny when we smash things live, but you know, no one's we've, we've got a chart over here with just like Mark and Ali <laughs> and just a just a tally of how many things have smashed. Tally? Ali? That sounds like your name. Yeah! Hilarious. <laughs> okay, let's go back to this. Uh, 
So we were saying that sounds travels at different speeds through different mediums. So yeah. we have got an example here of sound traveling at different speeds mm -hmm. uh, and the, the material that it's flowing through, the medium that it's flowing through affects how much the frequency is. So we're going to see that when we said something vibrates really, really fast, has a higher frequency as vibrating slower, it has a lower frequency and higher frequencies, high pitched, lower frequencies, low, low pitch. pitch. So we're going to show you an example of that. So let's start off with the wine glasses. Okay. okay, so here we have a wine glass and this one's pretty full. Yeah. This one's kind of half full and there ain't much in this Very one. Very little water in that one. So Ali will be making some cool tunes by pinging on the glasses like okay. so. Okay, so listen and you should see so that there's a difference between... <laughs> what the? Yeah. Hey. Okay. Very so different yeah. sounds. I feel like I'm I'm I'm, une I'm uneased here. <laughs> I'm, I'm, we're not in lot ze Led Zeppelin here, but yeah, you can clearly hear the change in pitch. Three glasses that are exactly the same. We bought them all at the same time, and <laughs> the did. only difference between them is the amount of water, yes. and therefore the amount of air that is yes. in them. So when Ali is tapping on the glass, the glass is vibrating, but the amount of water is changing how much vibrations are happening in the glass. Because there's lots of water in here, that's absorbing it. It's, it's allowing the glass to vibrate less. Mm -hmm. So it's not vibrating as much. So that should have a lower frequency compared to a glass that has less water in it, which will mean that the glass is able to vibrate at a higher frequency. A bit more freedom to vibrate. And then this one's barely got any yeah. water in it. So lots of glass vibrating very fast. Higher pitch. Higher pitch. So very yeah. cool. We'll go through the scale of low, medium, Hi. Lovely. Hi. 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 Now you think uh, this would be the same, but we want to show you that how the the amount, uh, how the frequency changes the pitch and the different mediums that it flows through. So we had our wine glass that had lots of water in it, mm -hmm. and we had a wine glass that had uh, only a little Not amount a lot of, of water, water in it. So you might think here we have a bottle. And there's not much water in the bottle, not much water in the glass. Mm -hmm. so, so remember, a little bit think, of water we had. Mm, yeah. Very high so, frequency. But if I was to blow over the bottle, what sound do you think we'd get? What what pitch do you think we get? Because remember, a little bit of water, a little bit, bit of water. water. That's high pitch. High, okay. 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 It's lower. Okay. So if we were to fill the bottle, a little bit more water into little the bottle. A little bit more. And now we look at our big glass. So we had lower frequency noises coming from this because the water was slowing down the frequency. Okay, but so more, a lot water. more water. <laughs> Much higher pitch. <laughs> Much higher. Much higher. And that might sound strange, counterintuitive, but here the glass is vibrating. Yeah. And the water is actually slowing down those vibrations. But here I'm blowing over the bottle. <laughs> and it's Ooh. the air that's vibrating. So there's only a little amount of air. So when I blow over that, air can vibrate really, really quickly. Nice. Really yeah. fast frequencies, really high pitch. Yeah. So really cool. So, so the opposite. So with, yeah. when we're blowing over the bottle, we're getting the opposite effect to what we were getting when we were talking yeah, the wine we have glasses. Glass vibrating, air vibrating. Very, yeah. very cool. Very cool. You, isn't you it? would think they would be the same. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool though. So then let's try and tap the glass, tap the bottle with different things. Yeah, let's it. do okay. it. So they've got a, a lot of water in it. Okay, so now we're making the glass vibrate again. Yeah, quite low. Okay. Quite low. Now we're going to lose some water. Yeah, we are. I lost too okay. much water. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so much higher too. Yeah. So you've got a load of bottles, you could like rock out on them as well you jam out on them yeah. yeah jam out on them so we're gonna build something that is uh, pretty cool i'm sure everyone's done it at home at some point kids, at some point because yeah. it's super fun but again science in action the cup phone we're gonna make a cup phone so for a cup yeah. phone what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some cups and some string <laughs> yep so uh poke a hole in the bottom of your cups and you're gonna <laughs> you still have numbers on them yeah <laughs> from a previous game from uh, Halloween Pong. Eyeball Halloween. Pong. I've, eyeball Pong. Eyeball yeah. Pong. <laughs> Which I famously was not very good at. Why am I so bad at all the games that we play? Well, maybe I'm better at the game we're going to play today. So what we're using for the sound to travel on here is the string. 
So the sound's gonna travel easily along the string into our little vibration resonance chamber here and allow you to hear the little secrets that are going on. The secrets. The, ooh, the some things and the next next episode. The, the secrets. secrets. Ooh. The secrets. Super okay. The secrets. These are very simple. You can do these at home. They're really, yeah. really fun. You can put them around the house. But actually, they were a lot of fun when we were kids and not everyone had mobile phones using electromagnetic radiation to travel, <laughs> send messages across the world and you could instantly. See how far you get this. Uh, you get them to work yeah like would they work like across a room would they work like across a road and just like loads different different lengths so that's it that's your phone so then you okay. can you can spread out okay you can get some space and you can i'll i'll listen and now we have to make sure the string's taut i know uh, I'll, I'll answer you hello oh it's very clear yeah. isn't it now the guys didn't get no of course that, so we so... need to let you guys hear. Yeah, so okay. what we're going to do is we're going to pop this over our microphone here. A microphone? Mar a mar pop over, over, the, over microphone. the microphone. Okay. And Mark's going to tell you a secret. Okay, so I'm going to talk into the cup. Yep. That'll travel through the string into the mic. And those guys will be able to hear me. You probably won't be I able to hear me. I probably won't, no. Okay. So let's see, let's see. Okay, the cup phone works hopefully you'll send, I much, heard you. hopefully you'll send much nicer messages across your cup phone funny's good everyone likes funny mm. you like funny but to be fair it was probably a lot easier for the guys to hear you than it was for me to hear Declan you. said he didn't hear it oh oh <laughs> and then Evie biked his off on a whole other thing <laughs> <laughs> so now these are, are pretty cool. Now you have to make sure the, the string is taut. Nice and so taut, yeah. Nice and taut. So it travels along the string so give it a go. easier. See how long mm. how long a length of string you can get your message to go across. Yeah. 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 Now technology has van advanced in the last couple of years and like kids yeah. these days have got amazing technology. Yeah. And one of the coolest ones that we think is noise cancelling headphones. Yeah. They're absolutely awesome They're because phenomenal. they do science. Yeah, really, really cool. Ali, you're uh, one of the cool kids. You actually have a pair. No, I don't. I borrowed a pair of my brother. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> so shout out to Graham for lending us his uh, Thank you. noise cancelling headphones. For Anyone today. else wants to send in their technology, please send it straight onto us here at Explorium. We'll we'd review love to, it. Uh, yeah, we'd love to review it. Yeah. We'll review your stuff. <laughs> Just send us your, your stuff. That'd be cool. We'll, we'll review it. So, um, yeah, so these headphones, just the, the, their Bluetooth headphones, connect up to whatever it is mm. you're going to do. They can, you can get wired ones as well, you know, whichever. And you, very cool. get, yeah, they're pretty cool. You, put, you put them on, you play music. They're a bit big for my head. No, I like them. They're, they're kind of, headphones are meant to be big. No, I, I, can't, so I, can't, I can't really see, like, <laughs> so I you can't, can't see, see what I look Or like. here. <laughs> Ali's um, struggling a bit like so yeah so like uh, headphones you can listen to music through them but they also have this switch here which turns on their noise cancelling capabilities yeah. and that's where the tech gets that's real the techy tech because as we said sound has certain characteristics travels as a wave and it has a wavelength and then a frequency how many wavelengths pass a point every second so that wavelength those sound waves are traveling to your ears and that's how you hear the noises yep. now what noise cancelling headphones do they actually have a little microphone in them so they don't just play music they have a microphone setting that's listening to the surround Ooh. sounds it's picking up all the low frequencies around that kind of background noise background that you would buzzing have. of yeah. people and traffic yeah. and whatever else uh, people sh shouting things at you throwing tomatoes at you on the street and it picks that up happened to you a lot all the time <laughs> <laughs> it, it picks up that low frequency and then it creates a wave out of phase so opposite to the one coming in so they cancel each other out it's incredible takes in sound waves makes ones inverted out of phase so it cancels them out so no sound is because reaching I from thought, the environment like, I always thought that noise cancelling headphones were just like really insulated yeah. to like block out some of the sound but no what you're saying is they listen to the sound unbelievable and create an opposite wavelength yeah. so that they literally cancel each other out yeah unbelievable and 
Ali, you thought of a phenomenally fun game we We're going to play. play a fun game. This went around the internet for a while. Um, we're very late to the game. <laughs> <laughs> but we are going to play a game called The Whisper Challenge. So what we are going to do is we are going to take it in turns to put the headphones on our heads okay. and turn on the noise cancelling capabilities. And we're going to play some music just to like increase yep. the difficulty just a okay. little bit. So we've each prepared a few... Phrases. Yes, a few phrases that the other person doesn't know. The other of. person doesn't know. Yeah. yeah. So what we're gonna do is, for example, I would put on the headphones, be listening to music, won't be able to hear anything. And Mark is going to read me one of his phrases. Yeah. I got some hidden ones here. I'll share them with you guys, but they're, yeah. they're hidden. They're hidden. And, uh, I have to try and guess what, what Mark is saying when I absolutely cannot hear. So if you just give me a second, I'm gonna get uh, connected up here. Okay. And get the music ready to go. So we're gonna really test the limits of these noise canceling canceling headphones. See how they work with. The Whisper Challenge. Power on. Do you want to go first or will I go first? Will we rock, paper, scissors for who goes first? Rock, paper, scissors for who goes first. Okay. Okay, and we're Good connected. So I'm gonna I've got my three. Uh, on the noise cancelling here. And I'm going to get things. a song ready. Oh, a tune. Yeah. Any shout outs? Any, any, any requests out yeah, there? Yeah, you any won't be tunes? able to hear it. But, yeah, uh, but we will. We will. <laughs> any favourite music? Any tunes that you want us to play to okay. enjoy and listen to? So we're going to play the music pretty loud. Yeah. Okay, so we rock, paper, scissors for who goes first? Yeah, okay. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, go. It's rock, paper, scissors, go. What are you doing? I thought you were like rock, paper, scissors. No, rock, paper, scissors, and go. And that's why I did scissors. Go, go. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, go. Oh, I win. Okay, so uh, I don't know. I'm going to, I. you can put them on first. Okay. And I'm going to read you one okay, of my I'm going to hide these because you can kind of see through. Yeah. Okay. okay. So okay. you're, uh, will I close my eyes so you can show everyone at home or you uh, just, just want to? Just look at me. Don't look at the screen. Just look okay. at me. Okay. Now I always, this is always a They thing have that... a left and a right. Yeah, which, it says which it is inside what? It. That's your right one. Okay, so there we go. Okay. okay, so headphones on. Oh, already the print is it on? Noise cancelling is yeah, on. Yeah, I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. I can hear myself, obviously. But... Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. So my. Okay, now I can't hear a thing. I can't even hear myself. Okay, wonderful. Okay. So if you don't look at the screen, look at me. Huh? Okay, and I'm going to show the guys your. Do I look phrase. at you or them? Look at me. Okay. <laughs> so here's my. Wait, 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 there's a beat going to drop in it. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> we don't have time. Amazing. Okay. Now look at me and I'm going to show the guys. I love this game. I'm going to show the guys the phrase. Are we finished? <laughs> look at me. Oh, sorry. Right. Okay. okay. This is what Mark has to guess. Okay. Rube Goldberg. Huh? <laughs> Rube Goldberg. You're a Solberg. I'm a Solberg. Rube Goldberg. Rube. Groob hole hold, Groob hole. Wait, oh wait, Rube Goldberg. Ah, well, I gotta know it. Rube Goldberg. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Very nice. But you can't hear a thing. No, but like, I only, I only got it because I was like, I, I thought of it myself. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I did pick phrases that are like linked to you in a way, like that, that we've discussed. They're not just like <laughs> random words. I didn't for you. Okay, what a tune, you... by the way. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna look over here while you show them. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. Yeah, okay. okay my, mine are uh, kind of sentences, so let me uh, let me go for this one. This is such a good song! Okay. 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 Don't look at these ones. Ready? Okay. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> Stop laughing! <laughs> this is serious. Okay, ready? Hey. These pretzels are making me thirsty. <laughs> Honestly, I thought I heard something about Brexit. <laughs> Brexit. <laughs> These pretzels are making me thirsty. Brexit is making me hungry. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> okay. Wait. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> such a Bro, you got one more go with this, right? <laughs> right, right. These pretzels are making me thirsty. These matches are making me thirsty. <gasps> oh, that was that was close. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. It was. Do I get it? No. <laughs> Stop shouting. <laughs> it's AB bike dude is like not hearing is making me shouty. Oh yes, yeah, really I'm definitely screaming. Was, these pretzels are making me thirsty. It was Kramer's line in uh, the Woody Allen I heard Allen a lot movie. of Brexit. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that was pretty good. What was that about? Okay, uh, okay it's, it's round two. Go. Yeah, I'm going to rewind uh, the song a little bit. Yeah, okay. 
Okay, so these work phenomenally. Uh, they're so they're very okay. good. Okay, okay. so right. I'm gonna so it's n it's zero zero. Oh, do I, do I get a point? You get a point. Yeah, I get you a point. Okay. okay. Tunes. So <laughs> you uh, look look at me. Huh? Look at me. Oh yeah. Okay, this is my second phrase. Don't look at the don't. Oh, look at oh, that. oh you're showing them. Yeah. Okay. Well, I won't look at anything. Okay. 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 <laughs> Tesla loved pigeons. Oh. <laughs> uh, David. David. I, I don't know if I can say what I thought you oh, said. Oh, well, it's a family show, Justin. Yeah, yeah. I'll, well, let's try it again. Uh, da uh, let's say, uh, I, I thought you said <laughs> David so loves pitches. Yeah, something close to that effect. Tesla loved pigeons. <laughs> David loves leggings? No. D does he? <laughs> Tesla loved pigeons. <laughs> David loves leprechauns. No, it was Tesla loved pigeons. Oh! <laughs> it sounded like David. No, like da David. David Tesla. David. Tesla loved pigeons. <laughs> okay. You don't want to know what I thought I heard you said the first time. Okay. Okay. Uh, left and right. Okay. Okay. All oh, right, time for the draw. <laughs> <laughs> Such a good song. Oh, weird. Okay. Okay. Uh, you'll all know this one from our primary school Thursday. days. It's on Will Catagum Dolgadi on Leheris. The Irish fork. Ready? <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, okay. All right. <laughs> Never gonna get this. Right. Oh, it's, it's very loud. Ready? <laughs> yeah? Okay. On will Catagum Dulgadi on Lechris. Something about a ladder. On will Catagum Dulgadi on Lechris. I will watch the rugby. Later. <laughs> Look like Adam. Later. <laughs> okay, last last time. On will Cadagum Dulgadi on Lateris. Oh, Cadagum Dulgadi on Lateris. Yeah, yeah, yes! yeah, yeah, yeah. How would you get that? Oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Will I, I will watch the rugby later. <laughs> I love how you added later. You're like, I think I'm on the right track. Later. I, I knew that it needed to be uh, like it needed an extra word. Like it was too yeah. long. Okay. I know. I, it was a bit of a curveball, um, you guys. In case, <laughs> a bit in of case, a curveball. In case you didn't language. know, um, we're listening to Turn Down for What yeah. by DJ Snake Tune. and Lil John. Tune. Tune. Okay, round three. Okay, who's my yeah. yeah. Okay. Is it? Oh, it's one, one all. One all. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Okay. Okay. So These gonna, are phenomenal, by the way. I'm gonna Science show, and technology. Gonna the beats. Come on, lady. Okay. Go. Dance over there. <laughs> okay, this is what Mark has to guess. <laughs> I like your dancing. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> okay, are you ready? Oh yeah, ready. In zones over 50. It's scones. <laughs> overstated. Are scones overstated? No. <laughs> oh. In zones over 50. Zach Singh, you said our scones overrated. <laughs> they are not. Scones are fantastic. No? In zones over 50. Our scones overlifting. In zones oh. in zones over 50. Oh, I don't even know the actual line. So that thing I say on the ad. <laughs> Our zone's over 50. It, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in zone's over 50. Oh, yeah, wait, what, what, what is, what are my lines? What was it? In zone's over oh, 50. Oh, yes, yes. In zone's over If you don't know, 50. Mark is in that RSA ad on the bike where it's like, in this much space, in zone's, zones over 50. 50. <laughs> Imagine, I don't think I would have got the part if I was like, and this much, our scones overrated. <laughs> our scones overrated. <laughs> what? Okay, okay, oh. last round, last round. That was, uh, it's scones. I was certain you were saying oh, scones. Not far off though, scone zones. Yeah, 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 not yeah. The worst. Our not the worst. Our scones overrated. No way. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta show you this. This is the best song we could have picked. Oh, I know, so yeah, oh, yeah, keep shouting. Okay. I thought I'd go a little bit easier on it this time, so I have. Fish trawler. Oh. 
Okay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! I can't hear it either, so. <laughs> Evie Boy 2. Okay, ready. In bones over 50. <laughs> oh, the book. Chiaragum Dulgadi on Larvis means can I go to the toilet? For those of you who don't speak Irish. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. This trawler. No, uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. All right, all right. Fish trawler. Fish oil. <laughs> Fish oil. <laughs> Listen up, bear oil. Okay, ready? Fish trawler. Fish roll? <laughs> Fish roll. <laughs> trawler. Fish trawler. Fish trawler. Big roll. Big rolly. Big <laughs> rolly. <laughs> You're right. No, no, oh. it was fish trawler. <laughs> fig roly. Fig roly. Fig roly. Oh, that was oh. fun. They're very good. Aren't they unbelievable? Again, they have little microphones listening to all those outside sounds and then cancelling them out by making well, inverted like waves. Oh, yeah, I'm actually still shouting. Sorry. I am. I, that, that, that well, is what just I think me. would be terrifying with these, though, to be fair, is like, you know, if you're out and about, you wouldn't hear traffic and stuff. Like, if you were. Quite, quite dangerous. Quite actually. dangerous, yeah, never, for like crossing yeah. the road and that kind of no, stuff. No, definitely like, so. not. You shouldn't wear them in zones over 50. <laughs> Noise cancel safely, people. Yeah, they're they're absolutely. How what? That's are so much fun, by the way. Very good fun. Really oh, cool. I think we're gonna have to play that again. That's really it's, fun. Just play it afterwards. This is so yeah, much cool. fun. Cool. We got one each, though. We kind of got one each. I think. You got Rube Goldberg. I got Rube Goldberg, but you got. I'm gonna oh, I'm go You got in zones over fifty, but only with a visual cue. So yeah, I don't yeah, think. yeah. No, I don't think so. No, no. Our so scones I'm... overrated. No, as uh. <laughs> we love scones. <laughs> Sophia thinks our scones overcooked. Well, so oh, sometimes, maybe, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, scones are delicious. Maria, Maria gets it. Uh, absolutely. If anyone delicious. wants to bring us some scones. Speaking of food, we have a very food-related science story of the week. Actually, yes. well, don't we? So, so let's get that. There the we go. story for this week is that spinach can send emails. Unbelievable. Spinach can send emails. So this is a study that was done um, in MIT over in. Boston, I believe, Massachusetts. Yeah. Um, and it's about plant nanobionics. And basically what they are doing is they are using spinach to detect landmines and explosives and communicate via email. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, yeah. So basically what they have done is they have put tiny little sensors into the leaves of spinach plants. And the roots of spinach plants can detect something called nitro aromatics, which are released oh. by explosives that are buried under, under the ground. So the roots detect these nitro aromatics, travel up to, upwards towards the, the little sensors that are put into the leaves mm. of, the, of the spinach plants. And infrared light detects changes in those sensors and sends an email. So therefore, spinach is sending emails. Unbelievable. Working from home, quite working literally. Working from home, Work, yeah. Even spinach is working from so, home. So, you know, we've come a long way from yeah. phones to spinach being able to Banana send phones. emails. It's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, the, the, the chat's going mad about scones. I also would love a scone right now. We got some scones after the show. We have been sent in many things, noise cancelling headphones. If anyone wants to send in some scones, so we've scones. reviewed these. Uh, I believe the brand is Tautronics. We've reviewed these Tautronics noise cancelling headphones. They're good. Not sponsored by Tautronics. Tautronics, I believe, is the name of the brand. Are scones overrated? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Wait. I'm getting a word. P Professor Rob is ready. Professor Rob he, he's is ready. He's up to his old shenanigans. Let's go over to uh, the, the tomfoolery of Professor Rob. As long as I can remember, I always wanted to be a scientist. To me, being a scientist was better than being the Taoiseach, better than playing for shells. I used to look at the guys going into the UCD science lab and think, ooh, those seem like sound fellas, sound as in good, 
And sound is in sound, boys and girls, because today we are going to talk about sound. Sound and vibrations, sound and how it moves. Now, downstairs, you've already seen a number of fun games that you can do at home, but I'm going to show you something fun you can do right here at Explorium. What I stand at here is the whisper dish. Now, how this works is you speak your hidden messages into this small circular hole, and it will bounce the sound from this whisper dish to the whisper dish at the other end of the hall. Now, what would happen is I could say something very long like this, and it doesn't matter how small my voice is. Now, I think that's pretty sound. <laughs> Oh, I am losing my mind here, but we're having a good day, and I hope your day is sound. I've used the sound joke too many times, haven't I? It doesn't work anymore. Anyway, back to you. We're all losing our mind. <laughs> Ali's losing her mind too, <laughs> Rob. Don't, don't, don't worry. You know, I got an app on my phone. Sorry, I have to share this. You know, I got an app on my phone. Professor Rob, a sound guy. I got an app on my phone that's, uh, you know, like you can have soundboards that's yeah. like, you know, can play fart sounds or whatever you want. You know, we're mature here on the show. I got one that just does this. Turn down for what? That's all that's it does. very useful. That, that's all it There's does. There's many times you need to turn down for what? I think it's my new favorite app. It's to be very honest. cool. Yeah, it's um, very useful. Anyway, yeah, we please. are going to show you the solution to last yes, challenge, yes, yes, two indeed. weeks ago's challenge. You know how it is. Um, so the challenge that we set for you was to have a ball and to pick up the ball without touching it. Now again, there was we left this open to interpretation that there were lots of different ways that you can do this. Yes. Stop going to touch it. Um, so because if you use a light ball like this one, um, you could like stop touching it. <laughs> you could like use a straw maybe and like. So oh, suck it up. And, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, create yeah. a vacuum. Uh, there's another way to do it, which is to get a warp gravity. No, <laughs> excuse me. A bit easier. Uh, okay. Get a glass, <laughs> okay. like the ones that okay. you were doing your sound experiments with yeah. earlier. There's a bit of water still in this one. That is. Know. So place your glass over your ball. Yep. And this can take a little bit of practice, and mm. I probably won't get it now because you know, famously, really bad at demonstrating the solutions <laughs> to my own <laughs> challenges. <laughs> uh, but you just got to spin. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! But it picks it up. And it will pick up. Oh, very cool! Look at that, the ball. Yeah. Oh, cool. almost like our balloon and hex note again. Send triple force. Send triple force again in action. Very cool. So you can play around with that. That's yeah. pretty fun. You can win a few bets with that. See if you can pick up a, a ball oh, without yeah. touching it. Yeah. Um. And now it's time to Ooh. set next, next week's, week's challenge. challenge. Um. Ooh. So what you're gonna need for next week's challenge is you're going Changes. to need a piece of paper. And you're gonna need something circular. So we've gone, we've gone with a CD. You could do it with like a round. What's on like the CD? A, I think it's blank. <laughs> what's on, what's, the, uh, what's on the, uh, the CD? It's just that song on repeat. Copyright. Uh, <laughs> um, so you just need something circular. So a CD, uh, if you're like a round coaster, yeah. digestive biscuit, Ooh, whatever you've got. So what you need to do is you need to cut a hole, a square hole Ooh. in the middle or a diamond shaped hole, yeah. whatever, in the middle of your paper, which is too small for your CD yeah. to fit through. Yeah, the challenge is to make it fit. Make it fit. To make your round object Ooh. fit into, in through the square hole. You can't rip the paper. You can't make the hole bigger. The hole has to be larger than your circular object to begin with. And you have to figure out a way to get your circular object through right. that square hole. That is next week's challenge. Yep. Again, if you do try these, do let us know on the Explorium social media accounts. We'd love to see you trying them and anything else you create from the show. If you make a movie and put in some Foley sounds later. If you, you play the that. whisper challenge yeah. and it's hilarious. They definitely are. What a, what a super fun game. Yeah. Like. Really, to be really fair, cool. like you don't even really need noise cancelling headphones for it. You just have to play music an awful lot louder yeah. to yeah, not have the noise. It's, it's damaging for your ears. Your um, so if you have noise cancelling headphones, do definitely give it a go. Well. They're very, very good. We ones. hope you all have a lovely Super Science Saturday. Thank you all for joining us. People really on fire in the chat on today. On fire like, in the chat today. Yeah, really like it. Really up on buzzing to go. Yeah. So we hope you try out some of the things that we investigated. Uh, do try them out and let yeah. us know if you do. And we hope you have a lovely Super Science Saturday. And we will and see you all next Saturday. Next Saturday. Yes. Bye. Bye.